Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, uh, guys today I have decided to take a look at the Great British Pound uh, mostly because on the euro currency situation is still developing and uh, I, I do not see any signs on the euro currency that uh, stands outside of the trading plan and outside the situation that we have discussed two weeks ago since uh, on the euro currency market still stands and the most recent swing on the 4 hour time frame chart and the some sort of the widening triangle is still forming on the bottom right and the uh, yearly, uh, year, yearly pivot point market now stands in the progress with the bouncing to the upside and if uh, this bounce will continue a bit longer then we, we could say that probably this scenario is bullish on the euro currency and we would uh, sh shift to the trading uh, market on the long side but currently situation has not reached yet on the euro currency at this moment and that's why I do not see any necessity with updating the situation on the euro currency since uh, in fact an anything that we have discussed is st still uh, there and situation hasn't changed so that it, it could demand uh, again our attention and our updating of the situation. On the Japanese yen uh, I probably disagree that the situation is blur and something is wrong is going on there absolutely not I think that the situation on the Japanese yen uh, still stands in a row with our analysis and the upward ABC direction is still possible but as the as, uh, overall um, price section was developing rather slowly uh, I think that if something will happen the market really will turn to the upside action again will continue the retracement up on the 4 hour time frame chart you could trade it simultaneously uh, you could trade it uh, by yourself without my uh, help without my attention because uh, we have dedicated a lot of time to the Japanese yen within the previous couple of weeks so uh, we have discussed all details that could happen right now on the Japanese yen and I think that this should be sufficient and enough for continued trading at least till the moment that we have discussed until uh, market will hit 103.65 area on the Japanese yen. If this will happen uh, and when, if it, uh, when this will happen we will uh, dedicates another research to Japanese yen to estimate what we could do uh, next. That's why that's most reasons why I have chosen the cable for discussion uh, because it very interesting from the perspective of the long term uh, charts for the changing of the long term situation and also it gives the context for immediate short term trading even for the scalp trading in the beginning of the week. Well, uh, since this is the video research mostly dedicated to the daily time frame chart, I guess I, I suggest that you will read the weekly research because it's, there is some interesting link between uh, the analysis that we have made in the m middle of 2011 when uh, I have uh, written the Forex military school and we have discussed them. Elliott Waves theory. There we have made the practical application of the Elliott Wave on the ex example of the analysis of the Great British Pound on the monthly time frame chart. And uh, this analysis that we have made it was slightly uh, changed by the price action, but it's still valid. So on that on their analysis on the monthly time frame chart, we have expected that market will uh, in exceed the first leg of the retracement upward bounce of the 2008 crash sooner than it, it, it is happening right now so since market has has made some uh, additional swings inside of this bounce first bounce and now only now stands at the attempt at the challenge of the breakout through this high of the initial retracement swing but the other part of this analysis how far this retracement could uh, happen could could move and what expect after that is still valid. That's why it's very interesting to compare the charts 
monthly time frame chart in our weekly research uh, that was made in 2011 and current monthly chart um, because this really uh, interesting. Well, um, in the true world speaking, um, the longer time frame chart could suggest very significant action on the Great British Pound. Mostly because market has exceeded the minor target on the monthly time frame chart of the upward ABC action. The minor 6 month extension has been passed by the prices. And I can't exclude that market really could continue to the ABCD pattern on the monthly time frame chart. And that is an area around 177, 180. That's ultimate position that surely could be reached. Well, uh, but in the shorter term perspective, we see that uh, we see other bullish moments. Uh, first of all, market now stands above the monthly period resistance one. That also could suggest that this is not just a retracement, and that really could suggest that this uh, the starting move, the starting some uh, upward trend, upward stronger continuation since market now is making the challenge to exit from the long term consolidation the market stands approximately for the three years um, and to show some upward action and uh, the 1.77-1.80 area is an area where stand the major hard rock resistance that's ABCD target that the monthly ever sold that is the major 618 resistance fib resistance on the monthly time frame chart that is also the target of the butterfly cell that is forming on the uh, monthly time frame chart. That's why I think that this area could be could become the serious barrier and I could suggest that right in around this level the former uh, strong bearish momentum will start to impact on the market. Uh, this bearish momentum that has been formed in 2008 crash has not disappeared yet and it's still, it's still there and now we stand in the long term retracement on the monthly time frame chart. Sooner or later this retracement will finish and market should show the uh, some sort of the, the last impact of this uh, bearish momentum on the market has some short term downward continuation. Well you could read about this in the weekly research with the charts and more explanation. But now we will take a look at the daily time frame chart and we'll decide what we could do in the nearest future. First of all, uh, the, as I said, there are two major moment, um, moments here. First, first one is that market has passed through the monthly pivot resistance one. That's very bullish. And second moment that's more significant for us in the short term perspective is the daily wear body. As you can see, market has hit the daily wear body area. And that's why it's not a very good idea to take in the long position right in this area. At the same time, market could turn to the two waves, two way, uh, two ways of action or different action. First action that Yover very likes to show is the creeping with the overbought. How usually it happens on the intraday charts, market will start to show some minor bounces, and then con will continue move higher and hit the overbought again. On the next day, this will happen again. Small bounce, upward continuation, small, small bounce, upward continuation. So, on the daily time frame chart, it will look like the creeping with this line to the upside. That's the first scenario. The second scenario is the market will show some reasonable retracement right back down here and then continue move high. That's the second scenario. So, our task for now is to estimate what particular scenario will happen and to act accordingly to this scenario. So on the daily time frame chart we could discuss just the second one if market will show some significant retracement. Here uh, we need to watch for major levels where this retracement could finish and where market could reestablish the upward action. The first level to watch for is right here. It is weekly pivot point on the next week, weekly pivot, uh, sorry, monthly pivot resistance one that has been broken and take a look previous highs. But as market stands at the reward I still suggest some deeper retracement and for me it's a perfect level to watch for is right here weekly pivot support one since we know that uh, when the some bullish trend is developing the pivot support one should hold the any retracement if trend is still valid of course that's some sort of the indication if the pivot support one holds the retracement then the upper trend is still in game so it's still valid also we have here is monthly pivot point 
And finally, you can see that is approximately the middle area between the bands of the oscillator predictor between the overbought and never sold. That's why uh, if market will turn to some meaningful retracement, that is also take all guys, 50% level. If market will turn to some, some meaningful retracement here, that's the level to watch for is approximately 164, 70, 165 area. It's right here. Now shifting to the 4 hour time frame chart we see that this upper action is suitable for Jordanapoli directional patterns on the 4 hour time frame chart as well and uh, we, c we could focus not only on the daily thrust but on the 4 hour time frame chart thrust as well and you we could trade the directional patterns on the 4 hour time frame charts also so first moment that we should keep an eye on in the beginning of the week is type of the penetration of this green line that is the 3x3 three three moving, uh, moving average and this is the foundation for Jordan Apple direction picture also guys keep, take a look that market hasn't quite reached the 127 extension of this swing that's why I can't exclude the possibility that the market will hit it first and turn to the retracement second so if market will show deep retracement and will reach the nearest FIP support area with the first penetration of the 3x3 three three. that's strong level as we said that's previous swing high weekly pivot point first FIP support so if market will reach it directly right after the crossing of the 3x3 three three, then the first scenario is more probable so that market will start to creep with the level of overbought in this case that will be the brand by the buy trade and the target will be the 618 retracement of the whole backward move. Also, guys, you could keep uh, position a bit longer, but definitely you should take a profit at the previous stop because market and daily were bought. Second, uh, e but if market will form the double repo sale pattern, it means that it will show the double penetration of the 3x3, three three, but will not reach any significant support area. In this case, that will be the second scenario and probably market will show some deeper retracement right to the weekly pivot, uh, pivot support one and that is also the 50% support area as we have estimated on the daily time frame chart. In this case we could try to take the scalp short position with the uh, brand buy, oh, sorry with the double repo and later when the market will hit its target we will shift to the daily time frame chart and could use it as the maybe this will be the brand buy the buy will be formed on the daily time frame chart. That is also possible. I do not know yet definitely, but that is really could happen. So anyway, uh, in the nearest future, our major object for trading will be this thrust up and all patterns that will be formed with this thrust on the 4 hour time frame chart. I suspect that we mostly will deal with the brand bodies and our repo patterns in the nearest week. So that's been said, the first moment to watch for is the penetration what type of penetration will be because this particular will point you what pattern to expect and uh, what trade to choose if it will be direct move right to the support that will be the brand butter if market will form double crossing on the 3x3 three three without reaching the strong level uh, that will be the double repo sale and in this case we take uh, the scalp short position with the target approximately around weekly pivot support one. 